Welcome back everyone to episode 7 of the inventory system tutorial series and in today's video I want to be able to drag my items out of the inventory and drop them on the ground. So to do that first what I want to do is create again a new widget and I'm going to call this UI drop box and once we drop a thing uh, like a widget an item on top of this box it's going to drop it on the ground. So over here I will add a border again make it into a parent and here I will give it some tent a little bit to make it a little different and also I want to add a text field to this uh, it's vertical alignment to the middle content will be drop box some bigger sizing perhaps a different color as well and justify to the middle as well then if I scroll down even more here are render transform angle I will give this 90 to rotate the whole text sideways. Now let's create this widget on our UI inventory. So here actually what I did off camera was ch change the width of this from 300 to 350 by the way. But that's nothing, uh, nothing important. So now new border. Let's rename this to drop box panel. Make this into a variable. And let's, uh, I want to align it right next to the uh, inventory widget. So this is 500, just like for that one, 400 on this one, and minus 550, like so. And just to make it more visible, not the content, but the tint of the brush, so that we know this is a different widget. Now in our graph, we can again, on the event construct, where we create our inventory panel, we can create a new widget. UI Dropbox, drag in the panel, add child, and now the widget is going to be spawned on top of us. Now let's make sure that the text is not too big on the, the Dropbox and so that it fits and it does fit nicely. Now let's create a drag event. Um, by default we can create a drag event without any other actors, but since we want to pass along the item information we need a custom drag and drop operation. So in my inventory folder I'm going to create a new blueprint class and I'm going to look for drag drop operation and I'm going to call this drag drop item operation. Let's open this up and inside of here we need to create all the variables that we want to pass along. So the first one will be the item itself which is the s slots structure type instance editable and exposed on spawn and also I want to add the index which is the integer regular one and also instance editable and exposed on spawn. There we go. So for now that's it. Maybe you might want to add some more but for me for now that's going to be good. Now let's create the drag event and to do that we need to open up the widget which we want to drag and in my case for now it's going to be the player slot. Let's go to the graph. Let's look for this green button add new override function and let's go down till we find on mouse button down uh, because this is going to be the thing that's going to trigger the event from the mouse event we can look for a detect drag if pressed connect all the pins right here and for the drag key I'm going to use mouse left button now this is only going to detect the event and now we need to create the actual event so add new override function and let's look for on drag detected here what we need to do is create a drag and drop operation and since we created a custom one we can change the class to be our newly created one because by default it doesn't have our item and index but if we select the correct one it gives us the item and the index. There we go. So now for the item um, I don't want to connect this directly. We could but if we would drag an item it would drop all of the items that we have but I want to drop only one by one. So I will make this structure then I will break this structure not rewrite a break connect the item and I'm gonna type in manually in the in the amount one. Now for the index let's connect our slot index and for the tag since I know this is coming from the equipment side I'm gonna type in equipment. Now for the default drag visual I'm gonna use a self reference because we want to display this specific widget that we are dragging and not some other custom one. Now if we would go now and try to drag it it would kind of work but it's gonna be a super 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 tiny one on top of the mouse so uh, that is because uh, actually I don't know why exactly it happens but we can see something because it has some padding on it. 
um, it's trying to make it as small as possible for some strange reason so if you know why leave a comment down below and uh, yeah so I can get educated on that part now but to fix this what I did was simply change the padding in my case I made this 48 since my icons are 96 by 96 so half of the value is working perfectly so now if we press play press I you can see it is dragging the icon just right now if we pick up some other items they are working just fine as well now let's make sure that once we drag on top of the Dropbox the item actually gets dropped and to do that we need to go back to our UI Dropbox and this uh, widget needs to accept the on drop event to do that again let's look for the add new override function and let's look for on drop now over here what we want to do is drag from the operation and we want to cast to our drag drop item operation and from this one now we can get all the variables so let's get the item let's also get the index and we also want to get a tag to know where is the item coming from now once we've done this we can cast to our third person character well at least in my case the third person character get the owning player pawn and from here then we from the tag we can do a switch on string depending on the location where the item is coming from now for this one we need only two inputs because we only have the inventory route and we only have the equipment route now let's work on the uh, player equipment first since that's the only one that's draggable as of right now so from the third person character actually I want to do a reroute this is gonna have a lot of nodes right here so here first what I want to do is remove amount at index since we are dragging from a, an existing player slot we know that there is uh, the there is an item so we can um, remove the amount directly from the index so we can connect the index and also let's get break this and let's get the amount that we want to drop now here we can do a if branch check to see if we were successful to remove an item and if it's true then we can spawn actor from class and the class needs to be our pickup master let's break the transform let's connect our item and for the location I'm gonna drag from the player get uh, let's see get world location of the capsule component and also I want to get the forward vector of the capsule component to spawn our item in front of our character so now from the vector uh, forward vector vector times integer let's say 200 units in front of us so world location plus the newly created vector right here and this is the new spawn location so now it's gonna spawn an item in front of us now let's do the same thing for our uh, inventory so to do that now let's drag from our third person character again but this time we need to get the equipment equipped backpack since uh, if we drag from the inventory we want to remove from from the inventory now we can do exactly the same thing we can remove uh, at a uh, remove amount at index connect this one let's reconnect the index and let's reconnect the amount then we can do a if branch check and if we are successfully removing item from our backpack we can spawn actor from class now what we should do is uh, fill out all these empty execution pins because we want to identify the system that we are done with drag and drop operation and here we have quite a few of those so I've done that now this will work just fine as of right now but the issue here is our widget will not um, refresh so to refresh our widget let's create an event in our third person character and here on the keyboard I key next to it I'm gonna create a custom event and I'm gonna call this refresh inventory widget and from this event I'm gonna do a sequence so I'm gonna do two tasks first I'm gonna do the B route which is removing the widget from our screen and then I'm gonna do an A route which is recreating our widget with this being done we can go back to our Dropbox and once we spawn the item we can then from the third person character again 
we can do the refresh inventory widget. And once we have done with the refreshing, we can return true since we have handled our drag and drop operation successfully. Now let's try this out. Let's pick up some items. Let's pick up a few pallets, press I, and let's drop a pallet on top of the drop box. And there we go, we are removing pallets one by one, and it's working quite nicely. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker in the UI item data. Then in the UI data, item data, add new, overhead function, mouse button down, mouse event, drag detected, mouse left, connect these ones right here, add new override function on drag detected, create drag drop operation, drag drop item operation, and actually this one doesn't have an index. So let's create a variable called index, instance editable, exposed on spawn, integer, let's connect it to the index, Let's break the item, drag in the item, break the item, connect the item, amount one, tag, in this case this is the inventory, so this uh, because this is coming from the backpack, and the widget to focus on is self. And also, of course, in the graph, we need to change the padding of the border, just like we did with the item uh, from the slots, but from the player slots. And now this should be draggable just fine. But the issue is the index is never going to be set because in our inventory panel, if we would go to UI inventory panel, graph, you can see that now it's always setting it to zero since it's not provided, but we can get it from the RI uh, right here. So now this is going to work just fine with our inventory items as well. So now you can see if we drag from the inventory, uh, from the uh, player slots, it's dropping it from the player slots. If we drag it from the inventory, it's removing that exact specific item. There we go, so it's looking quite nicely. So since this was a quite a long video already, I'm not gonna do anything else in this one, but in the following video, we're gonna make sure that we can move uh, our items from one of our inventories to another. So basically from our backpack to our player slots, from our player slots back to our inventory panel. So like always, thank you guys for watching, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.